This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, in verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakorash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Jerusalem. And I want to give a peace and greetings and salutations to all the Legakim that's pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers is not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness, with all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratiza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, his lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rechakodash, is going to be basically on woe unto the false prophets, all right, that speak lies in the name of the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, the Lord is going to punish. I right, those false prophets, I right, that's not speaking according to the words of Yahweh Bashimasha, but is speaking according to their own vain imaginations. All right, that's adding to the adding to the words of the Bible and taking away, I right, the words from the from the Bible to fulfill their own belly, all right, and fulfill their own lust and not doing the will of Yahweh Bashimasha. They're gonna die and their whole congregation is gonna die that's followed them. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. I ain't no light right, in these false prophets of these other Israelite troops. Their heads. All right, you got IUIC, all right, which headed by a bishop, Bishop Nathaniel. All right, they're not teaching that the RFID chip is a mark of the beast. They're not teaching, all right, that they're not making it known that the heavenly father and his son has a hebrew name which the heavenly father name is yahweh yahweh mean he to be he is this all right and his only begotten son name is yahweh shah yahweh shah means he save or he delivered in the ancient hebrew the paleo hebrew all right the last one called dash which is our language the lord said he's gonna give us a pure language give us back a pure language that we may call upon the Lord with one 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 consent. Let me paraphrase him. See if I can find that quick. We have our language back, so we're supposed to call upon the name of the Lord in, in his true name. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, La Lashawan Kodash, or the Lashawan Tahar, meaning the holy tongue or the pure tongue, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So the Lord gave us back his names that we can call upon them in truth and sincerity. All right, but they say in the name of the Lord don't matter or we're going to get the name of the Lord in the kingdom. The Lord said we're going to call upon him in the land of our captivity. We're going to remember ourselves. All right. Zechariah 13 and 8. We get that. All right. Zechariah 13 and verse 8. It says in the... Uh, so like it says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, all the land here in America, that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, consist, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right. And then you also have the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right, all right. Those make up the 12 tribes of Israel, but this prophecy right here that says two parts therein, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right, talking about here in America. It says, but the third shall be left therein. This is the elect. Because the elect going to get beamed up in the so-called UFO with chariot. That's the way, I, right, Lord willing, we are part of elect. Lord willing, we are hopeful that that's the way we're going to get delivered out of here. And if you're not a part of elect and you want to shores on America, you're going to die no matter where you at. Because this whole land going to be devoured by fire. Nuclear fire. All right, that's why you got war going on in the Middle East. That's why you got wars, rumors of wars. And they're not even talking about that. They're not even talking about prophecies. That's why you got um, 
uh, UFO, so-called UFO sightings, because that's how the Lord's coming back, along with the angels and the so-called UFO and with, and with um, the capability of the, of the UFOs, all right, they shoot out lasers, all right? And they're going to shoot laser fire upon this place. Also, that with that war brewing up in the Middle East, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, or Yahweh Shapat, meaning the Most High's Judgment, Yahweh's Judgment, all right? Those countries have nuclear missiles. So those nuclear missiles going to be shot off, all right, from one end of the earth until another. Let me get that. And this war going to be a, 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 a war that's... Uh, fought with fuel of fire. This book is uh, Second Edges, chapter sixteen, in verse thirteen. It says, "For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. The bow representing the missiles. His arrows, which the arrows also. It says, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So they're gonna come from one continent to another. Hence, it's called intercontinental ballistic." Missiles, ICBM missiles, because they're going to come from the continent of Russia, Iran, North Korea, Syria, India, Pakistan, Israel, even America, all allies going to shoot missiles at her. I because it's the for, to fulfill the will of Yahweh Bashim Rashad. The Lord said, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. I'm talking about. I, America, talking about, yeah, talking about America starting with the, the elites, the Rothschilds of this society. So back at Zechariah chapter 13 in verse 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire. It's talking about the elect. That it said, But the third part shall be left therein. So the third part going to become, going to go through the fire, that physical fire, and also the fire of affliction, the the the, the hell, the so called hell that we catch, man. All right, because it's just a light affliction. All right, it's a light affliction, and the Lord keep us. The Lord said He's not gonna put more on a man than He can bear. It says, "And we will find them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on My name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is My people, and they shall say, The Lord is My power. So the the one third is gonna call upon the name of the Lord. All right, but the false prophet says that we ain't we ain't got the name yet. So the Lord said. This is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. And make you it's like they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Yeah. You got IU, uh, ISUPK saying um, John the Baptist wasn't a uh, man of the Lord. And you got saying, you got them saying a the name, the Heavenly Father, which name is Yahweh. They say that's just a title. All right, the scripture says this. If I can find it, bear with me. Now, I'm gonna just roll through the spirit. I'm rolling through the spirit. Lord, what is edifying to the elect? Lord, what is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel? All right, the scripture says they're gonna be deceived. They're gonna keep. They're gonna be deceived and uh, continue being deceived. You know, roughly paraphrasing. They say they're going to wax worse. Bear with me. Second Peter 3. I'll, I'll look it up. I believe it's in Peter. Bear with me. Evil men. Wax. Second Timothy three. Let's get that. Bring it out. The Lord one of his lessons edifying. This book of Second Timothy chapter three and verse thirteen. It says, But it says, But evil men shall, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So they deceive it and they're being deceived. And the Lord said this. Job chapter uh twelve, verse sixteen. With him is strength. And wisdom with who? Yahweh Bashimashai. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So the Lord is deceiving. All right. These false pastors. All right. That's that that's that's telling lies. This book Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 9. 
And if ye hearken, so, and if the prophet be deceived when the when he have spoken a thing, I the Lord have deceived that prophet, and I would stretch out my hand upon him and would destroy him with the and, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him, that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me. Neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, that they may be my people, and I will it's not, and I and I may be their power, saith the Lord. All right. So the Lord said He gonna punish those false prophets. All right, because all right, these false prophets they telling our people, all right, that you can basically if you're not worshiping your how about your if you're not if you're not teaching the whole the hundred percent doctrine. You pushing another another vibration. You pushing another another God. And you gonna be destroyed, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty three, and verse seventeen. Actually, twenty three and verse. I started at the top. Jeremiah twenty three and verse one. Woe, meaning death and destruction, be unto the pastor that destroy and and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Yeah, they destroy them and they scatter them, I right, because they're not sure because they're not the true shepherds. All right. All right. They don't care about the sheep. The Lord said he gave his life for the sheep. Let's see if I can find that. Talk about the hiring. What is it? I believe it's John 10. This is the book of John chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So if you're not coming through your house by Shemashah, you're a thief and a robber. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and they call so he called calleth his own sheep by by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. So the, the true sheep all right, is going to know the voice, the meaning the truth, meaning how about Shemal Shai. A stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what, the th what things they were which he spake unto them. Verse 17, And then said Yahweh Shai unto them, Again, verily, Mean, verily, verily, meaning truly, truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. All right. These are the philosophy. These are the doctrines. Verse 9. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Our Lord Yahusha, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep, and that's what Yahusha did. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose life, whose own the sheep are, the sheep are not, seeth the wolf cometh, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. The wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. All right, the hire the hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. All right. These are the doctrine. These are the philosophy. These are the pastors, man. All right, well, the other the other pastors, man. These false pastors. They they not they when they when they see that with their doctrine, all right. When they see Esau coming in, they gonna flee, man. All right, they gonna they leading these people astray. All right. Verse fourteen. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and and I am known of them of mine. <laughs> So Yahweh Shai is the good shepherd, and we follow him through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai from the teachings of our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, starting with Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Kabar, Elder Apostle Rakat, and Elder Apostle Ar 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 Aramlop, and the great men on down, the great elders and bishops, all right, of um, Connecticut and Massachusetts, and then you got the the other all right bishops, all right, the the great bishops 
all right, from different camps that as as heads of camps and the man on down. All right, the Lord set all right an order up to feed his sheep. And they gonna and those are the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Alright? Because alright, they they fear Yahweh Bashim first and foremost. And that was the will the Lord said. The Lord said this. I keep quoting it. Let me get it. Let's look at Jeremiah. <laughs> Bear with me. The Jeremiah chapter three verse fifteen. <clears throat> it says, "And I and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding." So the Lord has true shepherds, true pastors. That's set up to, to fill, all right, to uh to feed the sheep, man. You know, Jeremiah twenty three. Bear with me, Jeremiah twenty three and whoa, I mean twenty three and one. Woe be unto the pastor that destroyed and scattered the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Now you got an understanding of it. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Power, says, said the Lord, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Asha. So the Lord's going to visit them for their wickedness. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of, flock out of all, all the countries, whether I have driven them. And I will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and they increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord, because the Lord set up the true prophets. And also be the Lord is going to gather us from the lands we were scattered and bring us back in the land. Verse five, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise up, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Is our Lord Yahweh shot. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby ye shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall say, so they, that they shall no more say the children liveth that which brought, so I'm going to read, read again. I'm reading a little too fast. Jeremiah 23 and verse 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say the the Lord liveth, Yahweh shall liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Because the great deliverance in ancient Egypt, everybody heard it. All right. And they feared. But this time, everybody going to see our salvation. All right. Wisdom of Solomon 5 talk about the strangeness of the strangeness of our salvation, of our salvation so far beyond that they look for. It's going to be a glorious salvation and it's only going to happen once. And we pray we are part of that number to see it and be a part of it and be glorified with the Lord as he gets glorified. Jeremiah 23 and verse eight. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children that brought up. But the Lord liveth. I'm thinking about Jeremiah 16. But the Lord liveth, which brought up. In which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, talk about America, and from all the countries where I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So the Lord's going to gather the elect that was scattered amongst the nations from one end of heaven to another. Malachi 20, uh, Ma Matthew 24, 30 on down. <laughs> Verse 9, Jeremiah 23 9. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man who wine has hath overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. All right. You got them going to other philosophies and they're actually adulterers also. All right. Because of the swearing, uh, the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up and their counsel is so in their course is evil. And their force is not right. Both both the prophets and the priests are priests are profane. Yea, in my house I have found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Therefore, their ways shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. All right, that's why they blinded. They shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. Verse 23, I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied 
in Baal and cause my people Israel to err. And that's what they're doing. They're calling our people, they telling our people about another God. Cesare Borgia, that's what they say, the most high in, in Cesare, and they say most high in Christ bless. We're not supposed to say that. We're supposed to say Yahweh Bashima Shah. That's what we call them upon. Verse 14, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen their hands. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. So the Lord look at our people like fucking Sodomites. And you know what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah? He burned that shit up. All right. And that's what the Lord's going to do to these false prophets. Verse 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, I will feed you. I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of God. God for from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone, gone forth. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane is going forth into all the land. And Jerusalem is a people before as a place. The false leaders. Verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Yeah. They, they say peace, peace, but there ain't no peace. They say still unto them that despise me. The Lord hath said, yea, shall have so like ye shall have peace and they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of their own heart no evil shall come upon you but what the lord said this is ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 25 destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none this book of ezekiel chapter 13 and verse 16 To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord power, how about you, Ain't no peace, man. Jeremiah 23 and verse 18. For who, for who have stood in the counsel of the Lord, and have perceived and heard his word? Who have marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. All right, those wicked pastors and also the wicked Esau Edom. Verse 20, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, till he, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, all right, ye shall consider it perfectly. All right. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and have caused my people to hear my words, then should have so then they should have turned from their evil way and from their evil and from the evil of their doings. All right. But then if they would have listened because the, there's a the, the, the truth is out the hundred percent truth is out and we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema that we have I right, the the hundred percent truth but these false prophets they don't want to hear the hundred percent truth that's why they prophesy lies in the name of the Lord because the Lord ain't sitting them man verse twenty three I am the I am I a God at hand saith the Lord and not a God afar off can any hide himself in the secret places. That I shall not see him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. I have heard what the prophets said. They prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed a dream. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. And they got uh, General Yohanna talking about some get the jab. Are you crazy? Verse 26. How long, how long shall this be in your heart of so how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. And that's what IUIC doing. They forget in the name and they call it on Cesare Borgir. Verse 28. 
the prophets that that have a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that have my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like like as fire, saith the Lord, and like as I am like a hammer that breaketh the rocks in pieces? Because his, his word is like fire. It cuts them up. Verse 30. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that steal my words to every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, say he saith. Behold, I am against the prophets that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I send them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit to this people at all, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to get these false prophets. And the Lord said, the Lord warned, that, warned us of the false prophets. All right. The Lord said, go, um, uh, there shall arise false anointed and shall deceive many. But if it was possible, I mean, but I'll just read it. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 23. And if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is a, here is Hamashiach, or the anointed, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false anointed and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch, as, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But they're not going to deceive the elect. All right, because the elect is gathered, it is, it is uh, taken care of, is chosen, elected. All right. From Yahweh Bashi Masha, and they are allotted to be delivered, and we pay your part of that number. You know, so woe unto the false prophets, all right, that prophesy lies in the name of Yahweh Bashi Masha. He didn't send them, you know. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone Jerua. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim. Keep pushing, keep it doing. Shalom.